Hi, this is Carol Stimmel in the Angerati studio, European Utility Week 2015. Uh, today I'm talking to Oliver Gravet, who is the Vice President of Think Smart Grids and a board member of RTE. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to start with RTE, if you don't mind. If you could tell me a little bit about RTE and, uh, and talk a bit about your strategy in terms of smart grids, smart meters. Oh. RTE is the French TSO, Transmission System Operator, so uh, we are responsible uh, in France for real-time uh, balance of the uh, load and demand and uh, we operate uh, 100,000 kilometers of uh, override line to 1,500 uh, substation and more than uh, uh, 20,000 kilometers of optical fibers as well. Okay. Uh, so uh, our strategy uh, in terms of smart grid is how to use uh, all the digital resources in order to uh, be able in the future to provide the best service to our customers. Uh, we have uh, uh, several type of customers, uh, distributors, uh, suppliers, uh, generation companies, uh, but also uh, big consumers, industrial, and so uh, we think that using the potential of the technologies of smart grids, we will be able in the future to provide the best services at the best cost. Uh, one of the objectives, and especially with the development of the renewable sources, is not only to adapt the generation to be able to serve the load, but also to adapt the load when the generation is available. Okay. And it's one of the main objectives of the smart grid is just to, uh, to take the benefits of the new technologies to manage this balance between load and, uh, uh, and offer using the potential of uh, flexibility on demand side. Okay, so it sounds like one of your uh, most important strategies is to use smart technologies to optimize yes. grid operations, especially, oh, especially in light of the variability introduced by renewables. So you're looking to enhance and, and increase your renewables portfolio as well? Yes, and uh, so just to, to perhaps, it, it seems uh, very uh, um, abstract, so I can give an example. We sure, have a please, very innovative please. project that uh, uh, we are calling that smart substation, and so it's a, a, um, a demo that uh, uh, we, um, we are dealing with a consortium in France, uh, uh, several companies, and uh, in this substation we will manage real-time information, meteorological information, uh, measurement made on uh, our own network, and okay. in, in a place with a lot of uh, wind farms, and we will be able to increase by 30% the capacity uh, of wind farm, of energy coming from wind farm, without, without any investment on the hardware, only okay. using an algorithms and uh, information. Uh. Right. Well, that's, you know, it sounds like you have a lot of confidence in your approach, and it also sounds like collaboration is important to you from the description yeah. of that. Uh, what is the, is the, can you explain to me the relationship, if there is one, between um, RTE and Think Smart Grids. I, I mean, I think Think Smart Grids is an association, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, two years ago, in fact, the government decided to launch uh, uh, 34 uh, plans for the future. One of that plan was uh, Smart Grids. And at that time, uh, Dominique Maya, who was uh, uh, RTE CEO, was in charge of this plan. And so we had a, a hard work with all partners, academics, uh, research center, manufacturers, uh, DSOs in France, just mm -hmm. to uh, examine what was the potential of the smart grids. We used to have a lot of demo, more than 100 demos, so, but the problem mm -hmm. and the challenge was how to go from the demo uh, step to uh, okay, that's implementation. Yeah, that's a it's, very hard so, question. I want to come back to that after you finish and, your explanation. And yeah. so one of the conclusions of that work was that uh, we had already in hand a lot of very innovative functionality that were tested through the demo. And so we have to uh, implement a new, uh, a best uh, organization of all the partners in order to uh, make known that 
things were ready to be implemented. Uh, and so we had two targets. First of all, uh, our own politician, uh, politician in France, uh, but also for the uh, foreign market. And so we, we decided to create this association, Thanks Margaret, which is a quite uh, young association because we created this association only Things months ago, just oh, okay. uh, to organize so uh, knowledge yeah. sharing between the members. And at the moment, we are more than uh, 80 uh, members, all categories of member, small business, academics, research center, uh, worldwide company, uh, TSOs, uh, distribution companies. So a, a very uh, various uh, category of, of members. Right. And we organize the knowledge sharing, uh, but also how to, to, uh, to make uh, the things happen. And so it's the reason why we also are very happy to, uh, to be here in Vienna, because it's a, a very good opportunity to, sh to, to, to show what we are doing and also to have a lot of uh, uh, exchange with all other countries, all the potential partners. Well, without fail, um, I've been in, in this, in the energy business, I guess for 11 years now. So without fail, whenever I speak to um, a new entrant into the market or somebody who is innovated in a different field, maybe telecommunications, and wants to bring their product to the utility world, it is very difficult. And you identified something critical, which is this uh, tendency to get stuck in the experimental part of it, the demo part of it, and to um, achieve a full-scale rollout. So can you provide us um, some real information about how, how do we do that? What's the way to do that? What are the steps one might take? Uh, another uh, example of uh, the work we have done is to develop a very uh, innovative methodology of socioeconomic assessment uh, okay. of the functionality. Great. Just to yeah. be able to, to, to identify what functionality are very uh, are ready for the market, and so and just to identify if those functionality are ready today for the market, why we are not able to implement. Sometimes we have to adapt, for example, a regulation, and so we have discussion. Well, also you with have a reliability so, yeah. that a lot of people, you know, if my phone doesn't work for a day, okay, I'm going to be a little irritated. But if my lights don't work for a day, it's a much bigger issue. Um, so I think that's not well understood. So I appreciate what you're saying um, in this regard. So say a little bit more about this about this methodology, if you will. And uh, and so it's very important to define if the functionality is ready for the market, is close mm -hmm. to be ready. And in that case, you need, for example, uh, incentive to accelerate the process for those functionality very uh, quite ready uh, for the market and to identify some functionality that are for the future and mm -hmm. it, no need to invest a lot a lot of money on that so we have to continue demo and, and just to be able to uh, to build a, a chain a complete chain of function and uh, to be able to implement it and uh, one of the main uh, results that uh, we will have in that we uh, convinced the um, our politician and especially the government and in France we will dis de define uh, some specific area, wide area, mm -hmm. where we will uh, develop and implement those functionality. It won't be demo, it will be large-scale implementation of smart grid mm -hmm. functionality. What we are waiting from that is to give a market to the manufacturers so that they can re reduce the, pr the prices of the product because uh, they can have a, a larger series to, to manufacturers mm -hmm. and to be able also to prove to all the market and especially the foreign market that we're ready to provide oh, so solutions. So you're even thinking internationally in scope. Yes. So I know you're, you, you're quite new. I think you said six months. Um, and if I, if I am an innovator of some sort that's coming into the market and, and I hear about you, what kind of conversation do I want to have with Think Smart Grids? What, what will you be able to help me with and, and what do I need to bring to you to move my idea forward? So, if you are, for, if you are, 
for example, a company, a startup, and so forth, you, you can join the, uh, the association. And so, uh, what uh, we intend to do is to facilitate the uh, access to the market to the small business as well, and just taking uh, advantage of big companies that have right. international implementation or well-known uh, uh, utilities so that, that they can take the small business uh, with them to make them uh, accessible to the market. So if right. you are on the other side of possible uh, customer, that is to say you have a specific problem to solve uh, in your country, mm -hmm. and um, what is very specific with Smart Grid, it's not a single solution. So in Europe, we have to face this uh, very important issue of integration of renewable. But for example, in other countries, in Brazil, in India, in Africa, they meet different problems. But Smart Grid is the way you uh, adapt the different functionality in order to be able to solve the problem. So we can work with a partner just to uh, identify what could be the best solution, what could be the best bricks that we uh, uh, take to, uh, to, to to bring the, the solution and also what's very important and uh, it's one of the very uh, uh, innovative aspect of the uh, method that we developed to, to make the socio-economic assessment of the smart grid is we are able also to say what are the part of the local job that mm -hmm. will be created uh, through okay. the development and implementation of smart grid which usually is very important also. Right. People. Well, in the smart grid, we're, we often hear about professional associations related to standards or what have you, but it sounds like, um, and tell me if I'm right, that you're, you are actually an association where you help innovation adapt to real business problems yes. and help an innovator understand where um, in, a, in time. The, the, the readiness for the grid is for their idea, so maybe they even um, change their own approach to the market so that they're coming with solutions that are going to be best for not just uh, France but also internationally as well. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. We, we can see the association as a, an exchange platform in order mm -hmm. that different interests can uh, exchange in point of view and uh, uh, sometimes alone you can go faster but uh, uh, with uh, in groups, you can go further, and what we want to do is to go further. Right. Well, I, uh, first of all, we've come to the end of our time. I want to um, thank you very, very much. I, as uh, somebody who's worked with some innovative companies myself, I know that you'll be quite welcome, and I'm, I'm sure you'll have a lot of success. So, um, thank you for spending the time with us. And this is Carol Stimmel in the Angerati Studio at European Utility Week 2015.